Windows has a native package manager now called WinGet. Think about how you would get a new program onto your computer today. First, you'd need to do a search for the app that you want, then go to the website for that app, visit their download page, and hope that you aren't clicking on a spam link or an ad, or even being sent to some other website for the files, then finding the specific version that you need can be a whole new kind of pain too. And once you have your installer downloaded, you've got to get it onto your computer. Now, if you're doing this just on your home computer, you probably just install it manually. But if you manage a lot of computers on-prem and in the cloud or in a VDI solution like Azure Virtual Desktop or Windows 365, you're going to want to package that app for delivery. And this step can require all kinds of tools and skills. But what if we took all of those different steps and made it into one simple step? Over in the Intune portal, click over on Apps on the left, and now click on All Apps. Click Add at the top and then click the drop down over here for the app types. And there is a whole army of stuff you can choose from. But today we want to focus in on the new Microsoft Store app. This is going to use WinGet to pull any applications out of the Microsoft App Store and then push it out to the computers you want all in a single step. Now we could certainly dive a whole lot deeper on WinGet itself. And if you're interested in that, comment below with the word WinGet and I'll make a video on that for you. For now, click select at the bottom, and then click this link over here to search the app store, and just start typing. Need some CAD software? Or maybe something from Adobe? How about Skype, Zoom, or Teams? You can also get a VPN client here too, or even a password manager like LastPass. Although on second thought, don't use LastPass. It's a really bad sign when a security company gets hacked. Personally, I use KeePass anyway, but it's up to you. The sky is the limit. And once you've found the app that you want, like SysInternals, select it, and then you'll see all of the app info here pulled right out of the store. Add a category if you like, and optionally, you can add this to your company portal right here. You can also add other important URLs and notes and even a logo. Once you've done with all of that, click Next, and then you'll wanna assign the app to your users or devices. And of course, that's going to depend on how you want to present the app to the end user environment. Once you've done that, click Next, then click Create. And it is that simple. Now here's one of my personal virtual desktop VMs. And because I entitled this to the user, you can see the installation experience here. But if I was on a multi-session system, you'd want to target the VM and not the users. Then this would all be done behind the scenes. And managing your apps this way also makes you less dependent on custom images, which can save you even more work. So give it a try. See for yourself just how much time and hassle WinGet apps can save you. And speaking of things that can save you time, have you set up single sign-on for Windows 365 and Azure Virtual Desktop yet? Well, click right over here to make that happen. Happy learning.